All right, first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises and glory. Belongs to my Lord and Savior, his name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahabashai, Bahasham, Mohavakak Badash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Son's name is Yahabashai, in who I reverence and honors to the apostles that have in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. This lesson is going to be based on Jacob's skiff, right? Jacob's skiff, okay, and the Tsar family. So we're going to start off with Jacob's skiff. Who was Jacob's skiff? He was known for his business venture. He was known as a philanthropist. Okay. And what's a philanthropist? Someone that is, is a so good, so good charity worker. Right? One who seeks to promote the welfare of others. Right? One who's generous with donations. A so called humanitarian, which he wasn't. That was a guide's. Right? A lot of these wicked people, a lot of these bankers, they use that as a guise to what loan the money. Right? Really, he was a puppet of the Rothschilds. He was for so-called communism and all these titles. Really, he was part of what? The so-called socialist movement of what? The Bolshevik. Right? Which at that time, yes, it was a radical so-called socialist, which I don't use all them terms. I just say New World Order. Right? That's what he was, that's what he was a part of. Right? He was doing the work on behalf of the Rothschilds, right? And with that, bear me just a minute. It says the revolutionary period, which was around, what, 1917. And you had something called the Bolshevik Revolution, which came in, which was the takedown at that time, the family of what? The Tsars, right? The Royal Russian family, the Tsars. Because whoever wouldn't comply to this system which was known as the Federal Reserve they'd be what put aside right so anyone who got in the way of that new world order they'd be put aside all right and yes it was a social so-called socialist movement okay and they used the Bolsheviks to seize power right and that's the ones who took out the Russian what king at that time okay i don't really use all these words communists and socialists they were in the bolsheviks were those that were pushing the agenda of the bankers they were funded by the bankers they were funded by jacob skiff jacob skiff also funded the russian the russell and japanese war he also funded the japanese to to invade china right and he was all a part of what imperialism imperialism all these silly words imperialism which was the dividing and conquer and to push the new world order agenda and with that he could set up the federal reserve in different countries so once the czars were taken down that's when he was able to what set up the bolsheviks which were so-called so-called jews they, they were not real jews they were so-called jews they were edomites always remember this they're not Jews, they're Edomites, right? But that's how they managed to get up in Russia and set up the Bolsheviks, right? And it says, Jacob Skiff, what was it, J.P. Morgan, right? These, these are all bankers, right? J.P. Morgan, what's the other name? Max Warburg, Paul Warburg, Rockefeller, and even the Brown Brothers. And where was Jacob Skiff based? In New York. German born, right? A German born so called Jew, fake Jew. But what? He came as an immigrant to America and set up shop, right? With the Brown brothers. And therefore, what, did, what were they pushing? An agenda, a new world order. Okay? All these things were happening. That's why you need to get into history. Get into what? Study the Bolshevik Revolution. Bolshevik revolution and it was over 
180 million, right, of costs to the military, to the Japan military. Okay. So these men, they were not no upstanding citizens. Just have to put that out there. These were not no upstanding citizens. How Esau's telling you. All right. Let's go to Psalms, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Never trust these devils. It was all a part of an agenda. All right. Why do you think, what was his name, Kennedy? Why do you think he was taken out? Because he didn't want to comply with the Federal Reserve. Which was, they're just robbing the people. Right? Taking the gold, taking all the gold, taking all the wealth of the other nations. And what are they doing? Printing, printing money out of thin air. Therefore, there's no worth of it. Because the more you print, the less worth of it it's going to be. And it's not real money anyway. And that's what they've done. They were robbing the people. Ah, oh, man. And banking ain't difficult to understand. There's a formula. With banking, it's just a formula. You go with that formula. And if it works out, it works out. Simple as one, two, three. And that's it. That's all banking's about. Right? And anything that's you have too much of something, the quantity, the price of it, if you have large quantity of something, the price of it is less. That's why there's something called a commodity. Because the less something is, there's more of it. It's like the less something, the less of something there is, the price goes up. And that's why you have the prices of going up of particular things today, such as gas. And who controls the gas? Who controls the Russia? Where's most of the gas pipes? I believe it's still in what Siberia. Some call it Asia, just on the border with what Russia. Right? That's why it was so important to understand history and ge ge geographic history, all these things. Let's go to Psalms, Baba Kashar. Talking too much. Let's go to Psalms 55 and 21. Don't believe the hype. And it's the same thing they're doing again today with this um, money laundering. Right? The Masons, they hired it. The Brotherhood, the Salvation Army. Really, it's the, um, what, what, what do you call it? Satan's Army. It's all la laundered. The Brotherhood, they look after themselves. Right? This is deeper than you think. Esau doesn't want you to know this stuff. Psalms 55 and 20. One, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Right? Smooth. Telling you them smooth things. You're a philanthropist. I'm here to help. I'm here to help you. You see the same thing on these adverts today. What do they do? They put a baby on the TV, screwing up his face, pot belly. Please, would you help this little um Tartar, whatever his name is, Tartar? He's struggling and they have him holding his stomach. Please help, and they put on the saddest music. Please donate one pound fifty. Most of that money is not even going to them. It's going into their charity, and it's being laundered to them because the Masons look after their own. Red Cross charity that goes back to World War What one or two? The Nazis they had that Red Cross sign. Come on. It's all, it's all one big game. It's all a part of the new world order. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than no, yet were they drawn swords. So this man, he had war in his heart. He said he was a... Um, Jacob Skiff said he was a philanthropist. But that money was to what manipulate and to divide. Right? And to get a part of Russia. Well, all of it, basically. And to fund the Japanese. To do his bidding. Because when you got the right money, they say you got money. <laughs> you can get things done. All spiritual. Right? All spiritual. Let's go to Job 20 and 10. Right? Philanthropist. And the times have come. The rough job. Look, you ain't going to be able to... um. Do no plea bargain with us. I'll give you this money. I'll pay you. You ain't going to be able to do that. Right? Job 20 and 10. It says his children shall write on it. His children shall seek to please the poor. 
with philanthropy. And his hands shall restore their goods. So everything you took, it's going to be restored. And anything that's not restored, that's just going to be burnt up. His bones are filled with the sin of his youth, going back to Cain. We shall lie down him, with him in the dust in the grave. Though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue, though he spare it and forsake it not, but still keep it within his mouth. This man ain't changed. Right? All the wars that you saw back then, who was funding it? The bankers. Because it was all a part of what their regime, right? Their agenda. And if you weren't down with that agenda, you were out of the way. Okay? And this is what they done with a lot of what that's that's his, that's he was the emperor. Right? The Russian emperor, the Tsar, they took him out. Along with others that didn't want to comply. Right? And there was an even interesting book on um Henry Ford. Study on Henry Ford as well. He even had a lot to say about them false Jews. Right? Because he was producing, but guess what? He was struggling with the funding. He didn't want to go to them because they were giving the funding, but they would try to take his invention. So he said, I'm not going to them. And even they tried to what? Blacklist him. So even he knew, and I believe Henry Ford was a, was an Edomite, even he knew they were no good. So this is why it's good to get into history and back it up with the scriptures. I just thought this would be edifying. And until the next time, Shadawa.